Hello, my name is Attila Karpati uh, and welcome to my tarot readings. Now I would like to speak a little bit about uh, intuitive readings and why I don't like and generally I don't trust this kind of reading performances and to explain why I don't like it, I will perform uh, intuitive readings using my Tarot of the 32 Path of Wisdom and compare it with uh, cards from my Unified Esoteric Tarot. But in that case, uh, intuitive readers most of the time uh, build stories based on the pictures on the cards. Uh, my issue with this is that uh, most uh, people don't know the origins of uh, these uh, depictions and uh, how accurate they represent the card, respectively exactly what they represent. Uh, most modern tarot decks are based on the pattern from uh, Pamela Coleman Smith and the famous uh, Rider uh, Waite tarot. But very few people know that uh, regarding the minor arcana cards, uh, the instructions from Waite were uh, exclusively based on uh, the keywords provided by Ataiva. Now, uh, I love Ataila, I love his deck, I find his system very interesting and intriguing, but not till today we are understanding on what Ataila's system was based. We vaguely know or suspect that it was astrology based, but we don't know what system Ataila used, how the meaning of the cards were uh, generated, and uh, if you make the effort to dig into more uh, uh, books regarding Ataila and his system and his interpretation, you will find that he and his uh, puppies gave many, many different meanings to cards. Sometimes uh, these meanings are synonyms, but often they are also different meanings. Uh, and uh, it's very, very difficult to pinpoint an exact astrological attribute to that card. So when uh, Wade instructed Pamela, uh, Wade uh, used uh, the book of Samuel Little White and uh, on, based on that book uh, they picked a few keywords and Pamela also chose one of those keywords and depicted it on the pipes on the numeral cards. So it's not a very exact uh, uh, system method. Uh, little bit uh, vague with the meanings and attributes so it's uh, that's why I don't quite trust it because from what I learned from Atela and his method and the reading uh, system is that uh, he changed the meaning of the cards depending on the position of the cards in a spread and many different things and that's why it's very complicated to extract one meaning and depict only that meaning for a card. The things that exactly Pamela Coleman Smith did and all the artists who are nowadays creating tarot decks are copying uh, Pamela without putting any effort in understanding those things and everything became a copy of an imitation and 
it's nothing really uh, concrete, uh, meaningful about it. So, this is uh, my two decks I will use today. This is the Tarot of the 32 Paths of Wisdom. It's a deck I created based on the Cypher manuscript and using partly the Rider Waite deck and the drownings of Pamela Coleman Smith. And this is my deck, the Unified Esoteric Tarot, the third edition. Uh, you can still find it on my website. A few copies from this third edition are still available. Now, let's see. Uh, kind of uh, intuitive reading example. Three cards without any particular uh, order as I, so it's very fancy nowadays to make readings. So, we have this situation here. Two of Cups, Five of Wands, and Nine of Swords. Now, if I'm a intuitive reader and I don't know a thing about Tarot and don't have any background information about these cards, I would say a story based on this card. I will say that there we have two friends. Uh, these two friends argued on something and after that one of them, the Quaran probably have bad dreams, feel uh, maybe bad about this uh, fight. This would be a very straightforward uh, uh, intuitive readings based on the images of this card. Now let's see what the cards actually can tell us in this situation. The Two of Cups. The Two of Cups signify sensitivity. As we can see, it's a water card with uh, mutable energy. Uh, it means that this sensitivity it uh, goes both way, and there is a, a harmonious relationship. Uh, and if you're working with my deck, with the Unified Esoteric Tarot, as you can see, you have a whole lot of other informations available to understand the deeper meaning of the card. For one thing, you have a time frame. This card refers to the period from June 22 to July 1. And uh, additionally, I can tell you in hours, it means from uh, the period uh, from uh, 11.20 to p.m. to 12 a.m. This is the time frame of this card. Then we have the astrological attributes of the card. This is a water in water situation. We have Neptune in Cancer. This is the first uh, deacon of the Cancer and also it's uh, Neptune in the fourth house. These informations, if you start digging and finding about more things about these things will help you to understand and have a deeper un understanding and a wider explanation for this card. Then we have uh, on the other side here, we have uh, Kabbalistic uh, attributes. The card belongs to the formative word and uh, to the Sephiroth called Foundation. And also, the alchemical attribute of the card is projection. So, we send out a kind of particular kind of emotions and what we send out, we will receive back. So, it's an emotionally sensitive situation. Then, if we move Further, we have the Five of Wands. This card signifies 
authority. I somewhat like a Tyler. I try to find keywords for each of my cards, but I resume to one keyword and exactly like Tyler, depending on the situation, I have various alternatives for that that primary keywords. Sometimes during readings I came up with new keyword for these cards depending on the situation and how these cards relate to each other because it's very important. So here we have authority. It means that when you are in a sensitive emotional situation, uh, some kind of authority came in and it may create a stressful situation and the outcome, uh, the Nine of Swords, it's not worries, at, it is depicted on the, the Rider Way deck, but it signifies communication. And it's a very simple uh, explanation for that. The card represents Mer Mercury in, in Gemini. It's a card of communication, of, uh, of open up. Uh, and discuss issues and sort things out. So, as you can see, we can have a very, very different interpretation of the cards. And from my 30 years experience of reading cards with my system, with my method, with this uh, rigorous uh, attributes from astrology, from numerology, from Kabbalah, uh, the interpretation of the card it's far far more accurate than you can re achieve with the traditional cards uh, we could as i said we can speak about numerology the two of cups it's uh, neptune and it numerologically represents six the five of ones is mars and numerologically it represents two and the nine of swords it's uh, mercury which number it also nine so if you start digging into these things or uh, uh, you are interested to learning more about the cards and why the meaning of the cards is one thing and not something else it's very important to start learning and very important, uh, and remember this, the meaning of the cards fundamentally it's astrology. And that's why learning at least uh, basic astrological things, it's very, very important. And for that, uh, you can uh, use my book, uh, Introducing the Unified esoteric system and tarot. Here I have chapters about astrology, I have chapters about numerology, uh, alchemy, Kabbalah, a little bit of fourth way, and it helps you to understand and learn these things and uh, include this knowledge in your day-to-day -day readings. Okay, I hope this uh, explanation was helpful now let's move uh, to the reading of the day uh, the three card reading for today uh, with my deck the unified esoteric tarot it's sunday 